Governor Arufai of Kaduna State hits back at former President Goodluck Jonathan, insisting the president of the former president favored states controlled by the PDP in the disbursement of ecological funds. Tonight, we take on the Senate on the Petroleum Industry Bill as the chairman of the Petroleum Committee explains the passage of PG, uh, PIGB and some of the details in the proposed law. What about the rest of the PIB? The Senate says it has broken into three parts. We we'll make sense of it all tonight and that's our focus on the program. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Wakimbaloe in Lagos. Tonight, let's begin by serving you with some other top political stories we are following for you. They look determined to get their message out. Hand in hand, they march through major streets of Yenagoa, the capital of Bayelsa State. These youth groups under the ages of concerned citizens of Bayelsa say they are angry and their plight is simply displayed in some of the placards they bear. They say they are staging the peaceful protest in condemnation of the act of alleged embezzlement and diversion of funds meant for the development of the Niger Delta by greedy politicians from the region. They particularly frown at the recent allegations of fraud by a former official of the Niger Delta Development Commission, George Turner, urging the anti-graft agency to conduct a thorough investigation and ensure they return all monies found to the Bielsa state coffers. This loot has brought us maybe 19 years or 20 years behind. Well, the state was created for development. And the Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, a non-governmental organization is asking for better funding of Nigeria's anti-graft agencies so they can properly carry out their responsibilities. The group at a press conference in Lagos presented a report titled Combating Grand Corruption and Impunity in Nigeria, an Agenda for Institutional Reform in Anti-Corruption Strategies. We want the government to work closely with the Chief Justice of Nigeria to strengthen the judiciary and to Plateau State, where the ruling party and the opposition PDP are in a war of words over governance and accountability issues. The PDP is accusing the APC of plunging the state into debt with numerous loans acquired by the administration in the first two years of governance in the state. Reacting to the second year anniversary speech of Governor Simon Lalong, the People's Democratic Party, in a press conference in Jos, described the claimed achievements as deceitful and diversionary. However, in his speech at the town hall meeting with stakeholders on the second year anniversary of the administration, Governor Simon Lalong explained the position of the finance and fiscal discipline of the administration. This administration has been able to sustain the ideas of practical governance predicated on our core values of belief in and the fear of God. All right now, today, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshinbeji, presided over the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting, FEC. After today's session, the Minister of Information, Elijah Lai Mohammed, told journalists that the President is in capable hands talking about his health. He also touched on budget issues. On the issue of Mr. President's health, Mr. President is in very very competent hands and there's no cause for alarm. On the issue of budget, ministers, ministries, departments, agencies are still going through their budgets and they are coordinating with the Minister of Budget and National Planning. 
Well, now, let's quickly move uh, to another issue, a very controversial one between the uh, governor of Kaduna State and former president, good luck, Jonathan, over the disbursement of ecological funds. That controversy is continuing. As the governor of Kaduna State, Mr. Nasri Arufa, today replied to the former president that indeed there was prejudice in his disbursement of the funds to favor states controlled by his party. Governor Erufai, after a neck meeting, had announced that the ecological funds disbursement has been handled with discretion. Let me remind you of what the governor really said, and we take a look at the reply of former President Gulag Jonathan. So what our committee did was to give an interim report on how the entire ecological fund has been utilized from May 2010 till date. And we realized that a lot of the deployment of the fund was based on discretion of the president. And there is a need to establish very clear criteria for the use of the 65% of the federal government share among the states of the federation. The committee <clears throat> informed the council, we found, we established this beyond all doubt, that in the year 2013, the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan gave two billion naira each to certain states of the Federation, but excluded other states. So out of the 33.6 billion in the Ecological Fund right now, there is a presidential directive that the Ecological Fund office must maintain a minimum balance of 20 billion in case of any emergency, any natural disaster requiring intervention which means there is only about 13 billion available for distribution to the states that were discriminated against. That's Governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Arufai. That statement, the former president didn't find it like uh, funny at all, and he has reacted to it. He did say that the claim by the uh, governor of Kaduna State is false. He said, and I quote now, Aerofi's sinister narrative was intentionally silent on the over 10 billion naira specially deployed, uh, deployed to fund the Great Green Wall, uh, the GGW project in some northern states, which included Zamfara, Jigawa, Kebi, Sokoto, Kasina, and Adamawa. Others are Yobe, Borunu, and Kano, end of quote. He explains that the ecological fund is a specialized fund with certain constitutional requirements which must be met before a state can access the funds. According to the former president, the same principles apply to the conditions for assessing uh, the universal basic education fund where some states have not had access to what is due to them because they are yet to fulfill the mandatory criteria for allocation. The governor of Kaduna said that, however, replied and had faulted the former president's claim that no state was discriminated against in the fund disbursement in 2013. The governor, who is the chairman of the National Economy uh, Council, making ad hoc committee set up to probe the ecological fund management, had in a report to NEC accused the former president of sidelining some states in the distribution of funds. But the former president and in a statement last week, explained that all the states that met the criteria for the fund got it. Mr. Arufa insists that why 17, 17 states, then controlled by the People's Democratic Party, got the money, those controlled by the opposition were denied the money. This is the latest response from uh, Mr. Arufa. I hope, um, well, may settle the case, but it looks so much that it might be a controversy 